Good morning, folks. Stick around to the end of the video for some announcements. We are looking now at a bit more of the same. Filaments snap, but they collapse when they do so instead of producing CMEs. We have more filaments coming in on the south and a line of ionized helium tornadoes dancing in on the north. But folks, here's what's really interesting. The low solar flaring and earth-facing solar quiet once again defies the magnetic complexity of the sunspots. Not so much up north, although beta ain't bad, but the positive blue extension back into the red negative umbras down south is on the doorstep of delta-class magnetism. Solar wind this morning, showing the coronal hole stream impact from the now-departed opening. It's just moderate so far, but we're just getting started. Folks, it looked like the coronal fields would reopen for a moment yesterday, but they snapped back shut. Just to jog your memory, that's the coronal hole from the Japan quake of 2011, the two eight-pointers on April 11, 2012, the Solomon Island shake of February 2013, the 8.5 in Japan from the end of May that USGS still has listed at 7.8, the point is that compared to now, with the coronal fields closed, there is no outward magnetism of any real significance, and we don't get the big dark patches or the big quakes. Article of the day is a far side of the moon capture. It's been a little while since we got a new far side shot. Discover took these from the L1 Lagrange point as it readies to take over for Ace and some of the GOES duties. Like watching Super Typhoons. What. A. Beast heading west. We're just in the waiting game now till it makes landfall. Hawaii will watch Guillermo sidestep the islands. Lucky. In the United States, the heat and moisture and convergence you see will shift east throughout the day. Watch zones peaking in the east and midwest with some storm potential in the southwest desert as well. Precipitable water overlay shows the lows pulling in moisture top alert right there. And down under you can see that one convergence has left New Zealand while another sneaks up on the west. Now, for some quick announcements. About two hours after yesterday's news posted, I hopped on live for a moment to give some tips on sharing the manuscript about how the sun triggers earthquakes. Use the full release page of spaceweathernews.com slash SPF if you can. Also, Remember not to mistakenly say the paper was rejected. It was denied review. I'd never post something that was rejected by a journal. Also, the tickets for our Phoenix conference became available yesterday. Info and details are lacking at this early stage, but the format is the same as Pittsburgh and pre-registrations got a lower price. Besides, who wouldn't want to be in Phoenix in January? But the note here is about our Pittsburgh conference this fall. I need to mention that since we last spoke about it in detail, the number of talks I'm giving went up from two to four. One of the topics I consider vital, and the other is just really friggin' cool. Find both conference links on the homepage of suspiciousobservers.org or linked for you right below this video. We've got shots of our star to close. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.